Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to Game Pass Cloud One Year Review. No, I'm joking. I've been using it for about a month, but I have also been using the beta service for almost a year. So let's go ahead and start gaming. Okay, 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 okay. So Xbox Game Pass Cloud originally was called Project X Cloud and then X Cloud, which is the beta service, uh, came out around October, November last year, and I was able to get my hands on that early and experience the service. Now, watching it grow, it started off with maybe around uh, 30 games at launch, I believe, uh, with the beta service, and then it moved by January, moved to maybe about 70 games and over 100, and it was just more games to play and access. But it's now part of uh, Game Pass and Game Pass has a lot of games. So what is Game Pass? You're probably asking if you don't know. Game Pass is my, Microsoft's Netflix for gaming. It's a streaming uh, game service in terms of streaming and downloads where you can play as many games as you want. So the way Game Pass Ultimate works, they're different, this is Game Pass and Game Pass Ultimate. Ultimate gives you access to play on three platforms, which is why Microsoft talks about the gamer being in the center and everything around them. So your Xbox being your Xbox, one or your Xbox Series S or Series X is your console. You can also play uh, games through Game Pass on your PC and you can stream on your mobile device. On both PC and console, you can download those games and from the app, you can download and install on any console or PC that you have. I really like that feature. Then on the mobile side of things, you can stream your games. What's cool about Game Pass is that you can play the same games on your PC or console and continue that on your mobile device. So Forza Horizon is one I do play quite a bit. Play it on my, on my TV, enjoy it there, and I can play it on my mobile device and enjoy it right there as well. So I can decide to display my mobile device while somebody else watches the TV, or I can go out into the real world, uh, maybe go uh, to a coffee shop or on the road, wherever that I am, I can play mobile. So whether it's over LTE or 5G. I did do a 5G video, guys go check that out to see full 5G gameplay, but it worked really well over 5G and it was good to see um, that connection and connectivity, fast speeds made everything run really, really smooth. Now, looking at the service itself, the menu system it's very simple. You have the ability to go to any of the tabs you want, PC, of course, uh, Xbox, and um, uh, mobile. And on mobile, you can start streaming games. And one of the games I was happy to see is Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal just hit Game Pass and is available for mobile streaming. That is absolutely awesome. This is a game that I play on PC uh, all the time. I had it on Steam, being able to just log on and play here. Sadly, of course, my saves didn't transfer from Steam or Bethesda Net but being able to play on my mobile device and then try and also continue on my PC or my console is truly amazing. Now, some of the things about Game Pass here, uh, just to talk about it in terms of uh, functionality. You do need a controller. Uh, there are some games that use touch inputs, but honestly, to game any console or PC game, you must use a controller. It's only the sensible thing to do. And there are multiple controllers to use. Uh, what Microsoft has kind of hinted is that if it's a Bluetooth controller, it will work with it, and that's fine. Bluetooth controllers like the uh, SteelSeries Travis Duo work well. The PlayStation DualShock controller will also work with it. The trusted Xbox One controller will work with that, or your Series X controller, if you have a Series X. But the controls I do like to use are the ones that have direct USB Type-C input, like the GameSAR X2, which has a really nice, unique, slick design, slides out, you put your, uh, your device in there, or the Razer Kishi, which is my favorite controller for this. It really does a fantastic job right here. And this is the controller I use for most of the devices because it takes a lot of my devices. And speaking of devices, you can play on any Android device, literally any. Uh, I believe from either Android 9 or 10 up. I could be wrong, but just check the Xbox website for that. Um, but as long as it's an Android device, it will play. And that's a good thing. So it's an Android tablet, Android phone. Um, I've even, I was even able to load it on my Nvidia Shield as well. That's something that's pretty cool. So. It can go anywhere. Sadly, not on iOS devices, this little brouhaha because Apple doesn't want streaming game service on their devices yet, so we'll see how that clears up. But the ability to play on multiple devices gives a strong credence. Now, what are the things that I like and I don't like? 
I love the fact that I can jump in and play those games. I love the fact that there are a lot of library of games to play. Uh, you know, like I just mentioned, Bethesda's games are coming there. Fallout 76 is on there. You also have Doom Eternal. There'll be more games uh, jumping on. Um, I do like the fact that Microsoft has not gone for the crazy uh, 4K. They said it's about 720p when they mentioned it at E3 last year, and I think it's about 720p, and it's fine. It runs well, and I like that aspect. As long as you have a good connection, that's the biggest thing. Having a good internet connection really solves uh, the issue of latency, at least for me here. I have noticed some glitches here and there, but that's pretty minor. Now, have I experienced a good time in my full year running up to now? I would say yes. Um, I've really pushed for it. I've shown a lot of people what it can do. I like it. I've actually advanced in some of my games on my mobile device, especially Gears 5. Gears 5, I started on my, on my Xbox, then I just kind of stopped, and once it was available on xCloud and now on Game Pass, uh, I just kept on playing and playing and playing and playing. And I like that I could actually do that on my phone. I didn't have to sit down and wait in front of my TV. Now, what are the things that they can fix? Because it is not perfect. It's a great service, but it's not perfect. I think one of the very first things is the, is the uh, ability to have instant resume. Now, this is something that we are going to have in the Series S and Series X, but the ability to basically fire up a game, say, on my mobile device, and then when I go to my console, I can go ahead and continue as fast as possible. Uh, that's what I would like to see, as, or, or being able to go from my console to my device and not have that load time that just says beta right there. Especially when you're moving from console to the mobile device, there's just this long load period that just kind of annoys me and I think hopefully that gets fixed. Now, I also want to see more indie games being pushed to um, you know, Xbox Game Pass Cloud, uh, just because I think it's a good way to add more games like that and some touch input. Yes, just so you can uh, help people who don't have control or access right there. I think that comes into play. Not every game is going to support that, and I get it, but some of that. I think overall, the service is really good. I think the last thing that I would like to see added to Game Pass as it moves forward, Game Pass Cloud, is not just being able to stream on my mobile device or my tablet, but also being able to have that ability on Windows as well, uh, especially laptops that are not powerful enough to game on, uh, whether it's an ARM chip laptop like the Surface Pro X, or you know even just a, a basic Intel laptop, or even my Samsung TV. Imagine uh, that you can buy a TV in the future, Samsung's a big partner with Microsoft, and you've got the Game Pass app right there, right there where it says, Xbox, you have the Game Pass app, and you can fire it up by linking your Bluetooth controller or Wi-Fi controller, whatever the case may be, and you can start gaming on your TV. Uh, you don't have to buy an Xbox, because yeah, it will do 1080p. If you want to have an Xbox uh, for 4K, 8K gaming, you can buy that. I would like to see it expand more, and I think they're taking that path. So if you've used Game Pass Cloud or Project X Cloud, as it was known before, what do you think? Let me know how your experience has been. Mine has been pretty good. It's improved over time, and I'd like to see it improve more. Otherwise, guys, those are my thoughts on uh, Game Pass uh, Cloud, aka Project X Cloud, my use case in a year. Yeah, it's pretty much been a year. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, and if you want any of those controllers, I will have the links down for you down below, be it this bad boy or this bad boy. Um, this is Thunder E saying thank you very much and always enjoy your entertainment.